born and raised in North Carolina, did undergrad and medical school down there, and then went to Ohio State for a residency. Um, met my husband there, and, and really only until I hit the OBGYN rotation, which was one of my last ones, did I actually see, yeah, I'm, I'm actually having fun, and, and this makes sense. Like, yeah, I could do this for the rest of my life and, and be content. None of the other fields really did it for me. Because you really have to be able to talk to people in a way they understand, in a way they connect with you, um, and you connect with them. Like, you know, I think that just is very important and sometimes lost. And so sure, you, you gotta have a good math and science brain to know all the book stuff, um, but there's plenty of highly intelligent people who probably aren't cut out for medicine because the interpersonal relationships you form are really what makes it probably worth doing. Even though you're only taking care of women and you're only taking one care of one organ system in a woman's body, there are just so many diverse skills that are needed to treat um, all the potential problems that can happen and to offer just good medical advice for normal processes. So my philosophy of care, I guess, or kind of how I approach and generally see what I do is really as kind of um, an educator, really. I've had some health experiences of my own that I frequently now treat in patients that you know I would have never thought I've experienced and now they make me probably a better provider because I can empathize with that woman with what she's going through. And not only from a skills and technical standpoint to be able to provide treatments, but to, to know where she's at, to lift my shirt and say, hey, you see this scar? That's what I'm gonna do to you. And she's like, oh, you've done it, you know? And I think that helps a lot and it makes me feel good to be able to connect. We have such a diverse group of providers. I think that presents a lot of different perspectives, a lot of different skills, and you know, Patients are different. We now have five different office locations as far as from Inglewood to Springboro. So we really encompass a large um, patient base and it's, it's fun to be in different places and meet people from all around town. Um, and as such, usually depending on how far you're willing to travel and things, of course. Um, we usually have a pretty good success rate of trying to get patients in and get them in quickly, which is important if you've got something going on, particularly related to pregnancy that's concerning, you want to be able to get in and get in quick, and we, we value being able to offer that to our patients. Our practice was one of the first uh, practices in town to offer the Centering Pregnancy Program um, to mothers in the greater Dayton area, which is basically a group prenatal care model uh, where women uh, of kind of equal gestational age will come together and have their prenatal care in group visits while also having time with a provider. We supervise a group of um, four midwives right now who really kind of continue to teach me and I think our colleagues about pregnancy care and birth. Uh, they do a wonderful job um, providing education and labor support for women who need that. It's just miraculous and amazing every time. Some women, for whatever reason, traditional labor may, may not be safe or may not be working, and then, uh, you know, need surgical deliveries, and those are all pretty variable too. And each kid you pull out is totally different. Weighs something different, looks different, acts different, and it's special. Some of my colleagues are experts in unique surgical techniques. We certainly have the Eurogyne program through Dr. Rush and Dr. Metz, um, and who offer a lot of wonderful services um, for pelvic floor and ur urinary issues women may uh, encounter. Uh, Dr. Kaufman's an excellent surgeon with a technique called single site laparoscopy, where a lot of um, her procedures are done through a single incision, which prevent, which helps with postoperative pain and really. Uh, gives good cosmetic results. Dr. Reddick's also uh, really wonderful with a procedure called Interstim, which is not a common procedure that's offered throughout the area. Um, it can really help with a lot of urinary or fecal incontinence issues that are very troubling for patients when they arise. We share patient records and provide, you know, we value our standards of care um, and do try to treat every patient the same with respect and with, you know, and being held to current medical standards. You know what your priorities and goals are, and it's my job to help you sift through all the information out there to make sure you understand what's going on as best you can and the consequences of any decisions you may make, and then you, you know, we make a decision together that is right for you.